Once a rat has consumed food that is making him sick or that it dislikes, we foresee two consequences. The rat will not return to feed and the whole colony will be made aware. This behavior is called food shyness or aversion. To mitigate it, rodent baits must first and foremost be more palatable than any other food source available in order to facilitate their consumption. These baits must also have a delayed action. Why? To ensure that any symptoms of poisoning would not be linked to the bait consumption and to allow time for the whole colony to feed on the bait. Anticoagulants included in rodent baits are the only active ingredients with a delayed action. They are perfectly adapted to rodent control programs. By preventing blood clot formation, anticoagulants will lead to rodent death through internal bleeding within three to eight days after bait consumption has occurred. In order to better understand why there is a delayed action, we shall look into the formation of blood clotting. All hot-blooded animals have their blood constantly clotting, whether injured or not. Indeed, when a blood vessel wall or a blood tissue wall is damaged, the body is making a blood clot or coagulant in order to block the breach and prevent further bleeding. This blood clot is made of fibers constituted by special proteins called blood clotting factors, which are continuously synthesized as they are being used. A chain of enzymatic reactions is involved in the manufacturing of blood clotting factors. One of these reactions requires vitamin K1. Through a cycle, vitamin K1 is transformed by enzymes to produce glutamate. Glutamate is then used to produce blood clotting factors through another chain of reactions, which does not involve vitamin K1. Once glutamate has been created, vitamin K1 is recycled and the cycle restarts. given time, the quantity of vitamin K1 in the bloodstream is usually extremely low, thanks to its constant recycling. Anticoagulants, or anti-vitamin K1, specifically blocks his step. As a consequence, vitamin K1 ceases to be recycled and is gradually removed. The vitamin K1 cycle is stopped and glutamate is no longer being produced. The body will use up all available vitamin K1 and blood clotting formation will stop. The body will then use up all remaining blood clot factors, eventually running out after four days on average. This is where the delayed action is created. When the last blood clot factors have been used, the body is no longer able to clamp any internal bleeding. In case of accidental poisoning, the delayed mode of action allows sufficient time to react, diagnose and inject the antidote, vitamin K1. Vitamin K1 injections restart the production of blood clot factors and restore the body's ability to clamp internal bleedings until all anticoagulant molecules are phased out and the natural recycling of vitamin K1 starts again.